if you are banking on late fees and you are hoping that your client don't show or you create situation that you believe you deserve the late fee and it just wasn't how it so happened to play out, then you need to work more on your skill because overall, as a stylist, you should always want your client to show up. Hello, and welcome back to Salon Talk Podcast. I am your host, Ashley McQueen. I'm a salon owner, an educator, and a mindset coach. My overall purpose and passion is to help stylists work through feeling frustrated, lost, and confused, help you grow in the salon business, and more. My weekly mission is to motivate you to work through your failures, to build your clientele, to help you fall back in love with your career daily, and to put money back into your pocket. So if this is something that intrigues you, please remember to hit the subscribe button so you can come back weekly to be motivated. And don't forget to hit the like button and also remember to share with more stylists and business owners. So let's get into today's podcast. Welcome to Salon Talk, stylist to stylists where we get into some things. Well, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Well, today what I want to do is have a story time with you guys. In this story time, I will be talking to you guys about how I apply late fees and how I stand on my policies and procedures in the salon and how it has saved me when it comes to my time and also it has saved me financially. Being a stylist, having a late fee and a no-show pricing is very important. When I first started in this industry and I opened up my first salon way, way back in the day, I didn't have anything like that because I just wanted people to come and sit in my chair and get their hair done. Now, me having the mindset of me just wanting someone to sit down in my chair and get their hair done, I still believe in that. But it should be consequences to someone wasting your time or wasting your day or filling up a slot that another client could have definitely booked and would have showed up. So if you have listened to my podcast before, you definitely know that I value time and I definitely value my client's time. And I love to always get that same respect back from my clients. So if you don't know, and this is your first time listening to one of my podcasts, then please go check out the podcast where I inform you multiple ways how you can give your client a luxury experience without spending any money, I talk about time and how you should value your client's time. But today, I want to talk about our time. Us as stylists, how our time is valuable as well, and it must be respected and taken in consideration when a client is booking as well. Now, as a stylist, If you are banking on late fees and you are hoping that your client don't show or you create situation that you believe you deserve the late fee and it just wasn't how it so happened to play out, then you need to work more on your skill because overall, as a stylist, you should always want your client to show up. So you can provide them with the service they requested and you can make the maximum money because your service is what you bank on, not your late fee. All right, you guys. So my client select the golden protection service. So with this service, what I do is prepare your hair for you to go into a protective style. I highly suggest this. Because before you go into a protective style, you want to make sure your hair is at its healthiest. So when it is in that style, it could continue 
to stay healthy. So with this service, I shampoo, I deep condition, I blow your hair out, I trim your ends, I oil your scalp, and then you are ready to go into that protective style. So if you're located in Houston and you would like for me to do that, then of course you can go to my website. So when my client booked this service, you always have the window to either cancel the service or you have the option to change the date 48 hours before your booking date. So I always like to give grace and opportunity for anything that can happen. So if someone books with me a week before, I give them all the way up to 48 hours to be able to make that change in the booking system with no penalty, no problem. And I give that grace to my clients because you never know what can happen through the week that can make you have to cancel your appointment. But I don't go too far and allow my clients to go without any type of penalty because I do have to keep in mind that I am running a business. So after 48 hours, then a late fee does occur. But now with this particular client, she didn't want to cancel her appointment. She definitely wanted to come to get her hair pre-prepared for her protective styling. And I definitely know why, because it is a lovely service. So we proceeded on for her to make it to the salon. I believe it was uh thursday so now today is thursday we are at the salon 30 minutes before our client is supposed to be there we are prepared and ready for our client to show up we set up everything we make sure the salon clean we make sure our supplies is fully full and ready to move and shake for the day now two hours before my client comes in especially if you are a new client or if you are a client that haven't came to me for a very long time, I always like to reach out two hours before your booking time to let you know your scheduled time, where the salon is located, the code to get into the salon, and my suite number. Now, this is already preset, so it always go out two hours before their booking time. If you are a stylist, pre-setting text messages and pre-setting emails, anything like that, that is God sent. Please use that. And that provides a luxury experience to your client. So of course, our client confirms to us that she received our text and she will see us at 2 p.m. So now it is 1.50 and we received a text from our client letting us know she will be 30 minutes late. Now, this is a problem, you guys. Now, I do have a 14-minute grace period because I understand some things can happen. You can be stuck at a light or it's difficult for you to find parking, things like that. So, I always have a little bit of grace for my clients. But once it is 15 minutes late or above, the late fee does apply. But if you are 30 minutes late or more, your appointment is canceled and you will be charged for a no-show fee and you have to rebook your appointment all over because I have to honor the clients behind you. Those people want to honor their time that they book so we must have respect for everyone. It is a domino effect. So I do always keep in mind to have a little bit of grace time for my clients. But if you are 30 minutes late, 45 minutes late, an hour late, that is disrespectful to the client behind you. And that's also disrespectful to me as a stylist. So I do believe my policy and procedures stand on that and, and make sure that I respect not just myself, but my other clients behind you. So unfortunately with that client, I did have to let her know if she is going to be 30 minutes late, I will not be able to honor her appointment. 
her appointment will be canceled and she will be charged a no-show fee and she will have to rebook another day just for the respect for the clients behind her. And she was very understanding. And my belief system and the reason why I do believe my clients are understanding whether they're new clients or they're clients that have been with me for quite some time, I always stand on my policy and procedures is because the way it is set up. I present you with the policy and procedures on my website. When you are booking before you hit confirm, the policy and procedures is there for you to read. Now it's up to you if you read them, but it's not hidden from you. The second reason why I think I never really have any issues when I have to apply a late fee or no-show fee or anything that will be considered harsh when it comes to my policies is that I honor my client's time at the beginning by giving them the two-hour notice of letting them know, hey, you do have an appointment with me within the next two hours. Please keep that in mind. So if you are doing anything to remember to wrap it up so you'll be able to make it to the appointment. And the third thing I do, I do have grace for my clients. That's the reason why I have that 14 minute grace period before I apply any fees to my clients. So I think it's all about how you apply something, even if it's harsh or someone may think it's unfair. You always want to keep in mind, how would you like that delivered or applied to you? Okay, you guys, so that ends today's podcast. I want to thank you so much for listening. And you know what I love to do. I always like to leave you with something that fills your heart and make you feel good about failure. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the quote. Be strong because things will get better. You may be in a storm now, but it will not last forever. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Salon Talks Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please remember to like, comment down below, and share with other stylists so we all can grow and be successful in our own way. If you'd like to book an appointment, purchase products, or stylist to stylist consultation, please go to my website, www.my2goldenhands.com. And once again, i like to thank every single one of you, and I'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Bye.